Welcome back for more calculus. This is the chapter 10 practice test for uh, AP Calculus BC. And in this question, we're going to find the interval of convergence for the series x squared minus 4 over 21 to the n power. So let's get us started on this. Whenever I teach this, I always say that for the interval of convergence or for the radius of convergence for a power series, the first thing that you have to check is whether or not this series is a geometric series because it makes your life so much easier if you are looking at a geometric series. Let's write out the first four terms of this one. Okay. So clearly, this is a classic geometric series. So I actually don't have to do a lot to figure out the uh, interval of convergence. For a geometric series, the absolute value of the ratio has to be less than 1 for convergence. So let's just substitute in our ratio. OK, so the absolute value of x squared minus 4 needs to be less than 21 which simplifies into the absolute value of x squared minus 4 needs to be less than 21. Now solving this one, you're probably better off, rather than using the conjunction statement, it's probably better off to look at this as an AND. And then just solve these two statements. So our first level of solving, we're going to add 4. That gets us that x squared has to be greater than negative 17. And also x squared has to be less than 25. Well, we know that x squared is always going to be greater than negative 17 because x squared is always positive. So the only thing we really need to solve is uh, x squared is less than 25. So. We're going to take the square root of both sides here. Now, we're the ones who are doing the square rooting here. Um, the problem didn't come automatically with a square root. So if we are the ones who are doing the square rooting, that means we're responsible for the uh, positive and negative roots. To make that easy on us, we, we can take the shortcut and just say the absolute value of x has to be less than the square root of 25, or the principal root of 25, which is just 5. So the absolute value of x minus 0 needs to be less than 5. We'll compare that to x minus center is less than the radius. And we can see that the center is 0, and the radius is 5. With knowledge of the center and the radius, we can use the interval for any power series, which is x must be between the center minus the radius and the center plus the radius, which in our case is x must be between 0 minus 5 and 0 plus 5, or x has to be between negative 5 and 5. Remember that the endpoints of a geometric series are never going to converge. So you are actually finished. We are actually finished. The interval of convergence is x must be between negative 5 and 5. No need to test the endpoints on a geometric series. So that's it for this one, and we'll see you for more calculus next time.